Who are you? Yeah. You don't know. Okay, well, I'm a blue-eyed Indian, and a lot of blacks don't know that they are Indians. And why don't they know? Well, they've been told that they're African American and that they came from Africa, but that they're really been here in the United States as Indians. Absolutely, absolutely. And they're really uh, just getting false information from from a historical point of view. Who are you? You don't know. It's a, it's a very, very bad story. Yeah. It's it's a bad story you, taking a turn awry for the worst, okay? So. <laughs> Could you explain a little bit about that? Why, why is it a bad story taking for the Well, it's a, 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 an ancient Egyptian tomb of Macedonians in the middle of the heartland of North America. It doesn't get any worse than that. Yes. It doesn't get any worse. <laughs> I can't think of anything. You know, if Okay, if the people looking for Alexander's tomb had tablets with Alexander, uh, Mary Amon Setep and Ra written in Egyptian glyph on them, they would just be dancing in the streets. Yeah. They would, they, you know, if they had half, one tenth of what it is that we have but here. But if it was in somewhere, somewhere where conventional wisdom would right, be, right, like, right. say if it was in Syria or... Jordan or yeah, Macedonia yeah. or Greece or yeah. Italy. But two miles, two hours east of St. Louis. Yeah, it's, yeah it's no, 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 no. <laughs> Who are you? Yeah. You don't know. These people definitely crossed the ocean also also to Mexico it made a very strong impact on a civilization called the Olmecs the Olmecs that's just as a name for this very very early civilization the earliest known civilization in Mexico and everyone thought at one time well it's just an Indian civilization until 1861 1861 a farmer was plowing his field came across a, a very strange domed rock a black rock and he couldn't dig it out. The more he dug down, the bigger this rock got. Until he dug the entire thing away. It took him weeks to dig it away. And it turned out that he unearthed a nine-foot-high statue of a head, beautifully done, of an African. Not an Indian at all. All the portrayed features of a West African man. And Individuals are missing the point. Of an African, not an Indian at all. All the portrayed features of a West African man. And individuals are missing the point. From that time until recently now, there have been 11 of these giant stone heads. Let's see it. i give you an idea how big they are. Uh, they're an average, well, there's 11 found now. They're between 6 and 9 feet high, and they weigh 40 tons apiece. They're magnificently carved. While these were being found, more of the Olmec civilization was found, and a temple was discovered that had also the same type of people, these West African people portrayed as kings and, and warriors. So when the first archaeologist found these, he says, well, these are probably just blacks that got blown across the sea and were enslaved. But you don't make huge heads uh, portrayed with crowns of your slaves. You know, these were obviously uh, regents, powerful people. But some adults have difficulty handling that. The most important then, group oh, of culture we have in Mexico. And individuals are missing the point. The most important then, oh, group man. of culture we have in Mexico, well known as the Olmeca. Olmeca, 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 Olmeca. Not from the Yucatan. The Olmecs oh. from Veracruz, right? Veracruz. The Gulf of Mexico si. is where we have San Lorenzo, which is the most important site about the Olmecs. The Olmecs, eh, one of the nicknames for the Olmecs in Mexico, it is Cultura Madre. 
Cultura Madre. Cultura Madre. Okay. You understand that? Cultura, Cultura Madre. Madre, the mother of... Mother, the mother of the cultures. Oh. Oh. Because it is considered as the first, as the first, I mean, culture on this continent that so much people nowadays like to consider like uh, almost a little bit more than 3,000 years before Jesus Christ. Break it down! <laughs> but I guess, well, I, I guess the most, the most important thing to mention, right? It is that the Olmecs is still a mystery in Mexico. Sí. We we say Olmecs, right? Yes. But uh, some some of the escolars nowadays like to consider that it is not relation. It is not relation in between that name with that people. Yeah, yeah I mean yeah. Olmec 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 means uh, Robert. Robert people. Robert people. Robert people, right? The Olmecs were a tribe in Africa called Dogon in Mali. When the Dogons migrated to America, they also imported the rubber tree, which is only indigenous to Africa. The Dogons used the sap from the rubber tree to make shoes, coats, capes, and they were the first to introduce soles on shoes in the New World. The name Olmec means rubber people. The rubber was also used to make large balls for the Olmecan ball game ceremonies, which was played in large stone arenas. When Christopher Columbus arrived in the West, he states that he saw natives kicking around a large ball that was made of some type of acacia. Columbus took some of these trees and balls back to Spain with him, and today, soccer is the favorite national sport of Spain. These Olmecs set up empires and cities that predates even the Inca, the Aztecs, and the Mayans. The Olmecs were not Siberians. The Olmecs were dark-skinned, big-lipped, wide-nosed Africans, just as they are portrayed in the stone monoliths. The steppe pyramids of Egyptians closely resembles the steppe pyramids found in the Americas. The double crown of Lower Egypt and Upper Egypt with the bird and the serpent is also found in Olmecan culture with Upper and Lower Egypt being Northern and Southern America. The Mexicans have four calendars. The fourth calendar is identical to the Egyptian calendar. In Mexico, there was found a type of paper made from a specific type of wood pulp that scientists say can only be found in Egypt. Even the ceremonial dance of the Hopi Indians is identical to the Dogon's Bado dance of Africa using the same symbols and spirit names. Various tribes such as the Osage and the Apache use the crescent moon symbol which is the national symbol of Angola, Mauritania, Tanzania, the Sahara, and Algeria, all found on the continent of Africa. But some adults have difficulty handling that. These four brothers sitting here, we didn't all come from Africa. And there was a united, there was, there was a country before 1492, and our history goes way beyond 1492. So you can't start us at 1492. We were always here. We were always here. Who are you? Yeah. You don't know? 